you become a vice president, you're paid 110%. So on the average sale, that's $1,000. If you at this level, you make $1,100. Okay, got that? But if you have somebody under you and they're at 70%, and we're not holding these people back, mom, like your job hasn't promoted you in four years. Right? You've been waiting for that promotion for four years. They even had you go back to college to get another degree. So, so you can become a manager at the DMV. <laughs> and you went back to college, took four years off your life to go back to college to get a degree so you can be a manager at the state of California, DMV. Okay? Well, look at this here. Here, we're not holding this guy to 70%. We tell him the minute he joined what he got to do to be a vice president. Do you guys understand how fair that is, Casey? How fair is it when you join, we tell you what you have to do to become a 110% contract holder, and if you don't do it, then whose fault is that? See, when you get a job at Home Depot, they don't tell you what you got to do to be a regional manager for Home Depot because you will go do it. Yes or no? They tell you, we're going to reevaluate you. Well, you know, after, after about 90 days of probation, then you'll have a permanent job with some benefits. After you be about three or four years, then we'll evaluate you. We'll let you know. We get three percent range. You, you know what the hell you got to do at Home Depot. <laughs> you try to do your job and keep your nose clean and stay out of the way. Am I correct? Hoping that one day they'll say, congratulations, you're the barista of the money at Starbucks. <laughs> Here's a free Starbucks gift card. They give out gift cards. I mean, to the employees, like, here's a Starbucks gift card. You want to tell your mama, mama, look, it's a picture of me in the lobby of Starbucks. I'm the employee of the month. Here is fair because we tell you what you got to do. Now, look, if you're at 70% and you make a $1,000 sale, you make 700 The person who's above you he gets paid the difference. There's a 40% difference between those two numbers. So if you make 700, the guy above you makes 400. Here's my question, mama. Who made the most on that deal? Who made the most on that deal? Well, the guy who wrote the sale. He took 70 cents of a dollar. You Can you go somewhere and tell anybody? Can you walk into any business, legal or illegal, and say, I'm going to bring you a dollar and I'm keeping 70 cents? The average person will get that out of my restaurant. You want to keep 70%? Well, yeah, I brought my auntie to your restaurant and she ate and she spent $100. I need 70 of that. I mean, that's what primary is saying. Bring me a dollar, you keep 70 cents. And whoever recruited you, we're going to give them the other 40 cents, which is 110%. Now, if you're at 70%, you got somebody under you who's at 60%. Why is he at 60%? Let me hear y'all say, because he wants to be. Because he wants to be. Say it, Johnny. Say because he wants to be. He wants to be. Right? He's at 60% because he wants to be. Then you go, what do you mean he wants to be at 60? Because we told him when he joined what he has to do to get to 110, and he stopped at 60. Mario Cobian is at 60% because he wants to be. We told him when he joined. Here's the guidelines. Do this, get this. Dave is a district leader because he wants to be. Look. This guy makes a sale, he makes $600. Guess what Prime America says? I'm not up, I'm sorry. I'm not sharing my screen. Okay. That was for a second, though. Hold on one second. I want you to see this. So you need to write this out like I'm doing it. Okay, look. So a $1,000 sale, the client pays $83 a month to answer this young man's question. $80 a month times 12 is $1,000 annual premium. You're paid 
if you are a vice president and you made that sale personally, you made $1,100. Okay? If I'm under you and I make that sale, I get paid 70%, which is $700. Now, you didn't make the sale. I made the sale. Because you're above me, America gives you a $400 override. Why? Because 700 plus 400 equals 11. So the difference between me and you, you get. Y'all understand that? So look. So now you go back and say, okay, cool. So you made $400. But what about me? I recruited my brother James. James makes a sale. He makes $600. Primarily says, hey, we got $500. Well, give Gary a hundred. Where he gave James 600. That's what he deserved. Give Gary a hundred and give, I don't know, Joe 400. It's still 1100. Now, what if James go out and he recruit my brother Jonathan? Well, Jonathan's at 50%. Why is he at 50% Gary? Because he wants to because be. Because he wants to be. Not to let your job and hold you back, mama. He's at 50 because he stopped there. He makes $500. Mm -hmm. It's better than driving Uber and making $500 for a whole week. He makes it an hour and a half at a kitchen table. Primarily says, hey, we gave him $500. We got $600 left. Because we always pay out eleven hundred. Well, give James a hundred, give Gary a hundred, and give the RBP four hundred. Why? Because five hundred plus a hundred plus a hundred plus four is eleven. Do you guys understand this concept? Yes. We always pay out eleven hundred dollars, Mama. And if I want 60 instead of 50, I already know what I got to do. Gary ain't holding me back, mama. Come on, y'all. I just didn't do what I'm supposed to do. Why aren't you the vice president? Mama, don't, don't get mad at Gary. He told me what I got to do, but I haven't done it yet. Now, Gary made it virtually impossible for me to do it, then we may have some questions with Gary's integrity. But Gary told me from day one what I have to do. I just haven't done it yet. Right. Is there anybody on here that don't know what you have to do to become Gary 28? 